Archaeologists have made recent captivating findings that shed light on the past. Their endeavors involve exploring pits, ancient trash, and even diving into lakes. These efforts aim to unearth artifacts and information that enhance our understanding of history. In May 2023, a remarkable archaeological excavation occurred on the English Channel Island of Erdoni, known as Digerdoni, led by Dr. Jason Monahan. The dedicated team discovered approximately 1,000 pieces of Roman pottery within the layers of an Iron Age cemetery and subsequent Roman settlement. Although no Roman buildings have been found yet, the abundance of Roman material signifies the area's historical significance. Lieutenant General Richard Cripwell, the Lieutenant Governor of the Bailiwick of Guernsey, joined the excavation and expressed admiration for the diverse pottery finds. This ongoing excavation not only provides insights into the Roman era, but also reveals intriguing artifacts from the Iron Age. As the excavation progresses, excitement builds as more mysteries and stories of this ancient land are unveiled. The substantial amount of Roman materials suggests the possibility of a settlement, adding to the intrigue of the search. At the renowned Pompeii site, Archaeologists have made a significant discovery that deepens our understanding of the city's tragic fate. At the Castiamont excavation site, known for its less affluent residences, two skeletons believed to be victims of the catastrophic volcanic eruption and simultaneous earthquake were found. This finding offers poignant insights into the perils faced by the ancient inhabitants of Pompeii during that fateful event. The intertwined remains discovered alongside the remnants of a collapsed wall exhibit fractures that attest to the immense force of the collapse. Gabriel, the director of the Pompeii Archaeological Park, suggests that the two men were likely engaged in construction projects involving plaster and water when the disaster struck. The discovery highlights the destructive power of the earthquakes that accompanied the volcanic eruption shedding new light on the horrifying circumstances experienced by the people of Pompeii. With each new revelation, archaeologists move closer to unraveling the profound human tragedy that unfolded when Mount Vesuvius unleashed its wrath upon the ancient city, transforming Pompeii into a globally significant archaeological laboratory. Recent research challenges the belief that the origin of kissing on the lips can be traced back to a specific location in South Asia 3,500 years ago. Dr. Trollis Punkerball and Dr. Sophie Lundresmissen present evidence from written sources in the Middle East suggesting that kissing was already well-established 4,500 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia, encompassing present-day Iraq and Syria. Their findings extend the earliest documented evidence of kissing by 1,000 years compared to previous understanding. The cuneiform clay tablets from Mesopotamia reveal that kissing was regarded as an intimate gesture in romantic relationships, friendships, and family ties, indicating its practice across multiple ancient cultures over millennia. The researchers also point out the prevalence of kissing among bonobos, chimpanzees, and other primates closely related to humans, while kissing has been associated with the potential transmission of diseases like herpes simplex virus 1. Researchers caution against solely attributing the rapid spread of pathogens to kissing. Ancient medical texts from Mesopotamia mention a disease with symptoms resembling herpes, suggesting similar conditions existed in ancient times. Essentially, kissing has been a long-standing and sometimes risky activity throughout human history. In other news, during excavations in Istanbul's Sarakani neighborhood, a 1,000 500-year-old underground passage has been discovered. This newly found passage, near Hashim Ishkan Passage, exhibits impressive features such as carved marble blocks, mosaic reliefs, and stone inlays. Remarkably, it has endured the test of time and survived numerous earthquakes, serving as a testament to Istanbul's architectural resilience. Mahir Palat, the Deputy Secretary General of the Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality emphasizes the passage's significance and suggests that the city can learn from its ability to withstand earthquakes. Although the main structure of St. Polyoctus Church was destroyed by an earthquake centuries ago, its infrastructure remains intact, preserving the city's earthquake history.
In addition to the passage, the excavation has yielded other valuable findings, including bronze coins, stamped bricks, marble fragments, ceramics, oil lamps, glass, and metal artifacts. Further analysis of mortar and surface samples will provide deeper insights into the technology and composition of the ancient structure. This exciting discovery offers a glimpse into Istanbul's rich archaeological heritage and showcases its ability to safeguard historical treasures. In 2023, archaeologists in Israel made a significant discovery in the city of David, Jerusalem. They uncovered a 2,000-year-old financial record on the pilgrimage road providing valuable insights into the commercial activities during the Second Temple period. The Israel Antiquities Authority announced the discovery of a small stone tablet, believed to be a receipt or payment instruction, shedding light on the daily lives of the city's inhabitants during that period. The tablet's inscription contains Hebrew names, letters, and numbers, with one line ending with the name Shimon followed by the Hebrew letter M-I-M. Other lines include symbols representing numbers, some accompanied by the letters Mem or Resh, which stand for money and quarters, respectively. Similar inscriptions have been found in Jerusalem. Archaeologists have made several intriguing discoveries that provide new insights into ancient history and cultural practices. In Jerusalem, a 2,000-year-old financial record was found on the pilgrimage road, shedding light on commerce and daily life during the Second Temple period. This tablet, carved into a chalkstone slab, suggests local trading or craftsmanship. In Sweden, a large petroglyph carving from the 7th and 8th centuries BCE was uncovered, featuring detailed depictions of ships, horses, people, and chariots. This rock art provides valuable insights into the cultural practices of the Nordic Bronze Age. An ancient breastplate with possible Cyrillic writing was unearthed on the border of Bulgaria and Greece, potentially pushing back the origins of the Cyrillic writing system. In Suffolk, England, a Bronze Age burnt mound complex was discovered, shedding light on ancient settlements and practices. Additionally, a collection of aligned standing stones in Switzerland and the Nazca lines in Peru continue to captivate researchers, although their purposes remain enigmatic. In recent years, Cannons from the Revolutionary War have been discovered in the Savannah River in Georgia, adding to the total count of 19 cannons fuined. Looters pose a significant threat to the preservation of ancient murals and monuments in Peru, but a pre-Hispanic mural in Lombardic was rediscovered and found remarkably well-preserved. These archaeological discoveries provide valuable insights into various aspects of ancient history, from daily life and commerce in Jerusalem to cultural practices in Sweden and the Nordic Bronze Age. They also highlight the ongoing challenges faced by archaeologists, such as looting and the need to balance preservation with further investigations. As these discoveries continue to unfold, our understanding of ancient civilizations and their legacies expands. Subscribe to the channel for more updates.